Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the Long Beach Grand Prix. Obviously, cars on track for the morning practice session, but we're here at a special location on the track, and we're here for this car right here. What is it? This is the one you've been waiting for. This is it. This is the all new 2024 Acura Integra Type S. But before we get into the return of the Type S and the Integra nameplate, let's talk about what's going on here. Acura, it's all about precision crafted performance. This whole race weekend is sponsored by Acura because they are not only about race cars, but they're about taking that technology and engineering from the racetrack to the street cars that we get to drive and enjoy every day. Now, the Integra being new again, coming back, got a lot of people arguing, debating, wrestling, tongue wrestling, and everything in between. Well, guess what? I think this Type S really has caught a lot of people by surprise and a lot of those true enthusiasts that this is what they've been waiting for. Now, the great news is you'll be able to get it in a plethora of different colors and wait until you see what they're bringing on the interior. But what I want to find out is if you're looking for that perfect sport compact performance car, do you go Integra Type S or do you go Honda Civic Type R? Let's go ahead. We got this Apex Blue, my favorite accurate color, Apex Blue Integra Type S, and let's find out. Right off the bat, the presence. When you walk up to the car, you know that it's unique and different, and it all starts at the front. What I want to show you that I was not able to show you in that virtual unveil is that the flared fenders actually start on the lower fascia, and it's all one piece. So if you're thinking that all of the fenders are just stuck on with bubble gum and tape, they're not. This is actually molded. They crafted this aerodynamic efficiency to give us the extra width, starts on the bottom portion, and goes all the way around. And you can clearly see in the metal fender how it's all one piece. And what those extra wide fenders are gonna do is give us 2.8 inches of extra width. Because at all four corners, we got those 265s that are gonna give you more traction and more grip. Now, as we come across the front, we gotta have that Integra name. That was one of the special touches that everybody at Integra wanted was that name stamped in the front fascia, just like the original all the way back in 1986. And if you think about it, the Integra is important to Acura because that's when Acura actually started as a brand was 1986. You're gonna have those LED chicane daytime running lamps and turn singles. You have your multi-jewel LED beam headlights. And then get ready for this. We have basketball size, functional corner air intakes. I like the way they use the same opening as the grill. And look at the way everything kind of blends in nicely with the front fascia, dives down. That's gonna help scoop tons of air into the front of the vehicle, stop air from going underneath. Because remember, air underneath the Integra Type S will cause lift. We don't want that, we want downforce. Now as we coast in the front of this vehicle, this grill is enlarged to increase more airflow. Like I was saying, the same intricate design, we have the Type S badge. This falls perfectly with the NSX Type S, MDX Type S, and the TLX Type S. That Acura badge, all about the precision crafted performance, looking really fantastic. And I just love the way there's this flow that happens from the badge outward, even though the car isn't moving. Now, when we work our way down, they did a great job enlarging this lower area because remember, we have that turbocharged, intercooled engine producing more horsepower than the Honda Civic Type R. And you'll also notice how with the front of this vehicle, comparing it to the Type R, they went more aggressive. I think this is what a lot of the Honda fans actually wanted the FL5 to have. So it's interesting that Acura was the one to bring it. But there's that extra 2.8 inches of width. Any guy would want an extra 2.8 inches of width that quick, but you're getting it on the Type S. Now, when you get up onto the hood, you'll notice that peak, it rises up and it goes into our full aluminum hood. We have our heat extractor, just like on the Civic Type R, same size, 
to help drag that hot air out from underneath the hood. But remember, this hood is unique to the Type S because you have that rise and then the heat extractor and then another rise as you go towards the windshield. One of the things that I'm hoping that we could show on camera is just it has all these nice aggressive edges. And I think that when you compare it to the FL5, FL5 is more smooth, more kind of curved where this has got those hard, aggressive edges. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Now, if you think that Acura just took the Civic Type R wheels and just threw them on, you're wrong. What you're gonna find are these 19-inch wheels, all four corners, that shark gray finish. They actually go and get 42 species of sharks to get this color. And what they also did was they took the style from the NSX. So they wanted to get some of that NSX goodness and bring it into the Integra Type S. So much different than the Civic Type R. You are getting the Brembo calipers, nice large calipers. Believe it or not, this red is a little bit different color than what is on the Civic Type R. And another thing you'll notice is that we have the Acura branding with the Brembo as well. Whereas on the Civic Type R, it's just Brembo in that bright white. But you're looking at 265 on the width, 30 series sidewall, and you are getting those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, all four corners, nice two-piece rotors to help cut down rotating mass and also give us extra cooling capability. And remember, this is front wheel drive, just like the FL5, and we have the adaptive dampers, all four corners. Looking at that flared fender, it is a thing of beauty. It's almost like you could hang this on the wall as a piece of artwork because they did such a great job with that fender flare. You do have your Type S badge, and what's cool is you could actually do a dealer option and get these in black, just to give it a little bit extra special touch. We have color match, Apex blue on the mirror caps, your LED, LED turn signals. One of my favorite things that also separates it from the Civic Type R, is your side sill extension. So you have your flare fender, and then we have a unique one-off for the Type S, the Integra Type S side sill extension. It works well, especially with that lower body line. I think probably one of the biggest zonks that maybe you might give it is that if you look up top, there is no sunroof. The good news is, is that that's gonna cut weight and lower our center of gravity, but I know a lot of people were hoping for that. I guess what you could do is get yourself an A-spec if you don't want to go this route, but this is all about having that style, having some luxury, but definitely bringing the performance. So that's, that's key to Acura. Working our way towards the rear, that body line really coming nicely into the rear quarter window. You'll notice that for the rear, because of the way the doors and everything is shaped here, they did add the fender flare to the passenger door, and I'll show what that looks like when you open it. So fender flare into the rear. One of the things that separates the Type S, the Integra Type S, from the Civic Type R is this back area. This is more of a sport back design, whereas the Type R is a hatchback. So that's why they went this route to make it have that wide look from the front to the back. As we come around, you can see that nice bare flint flared fender. I love on the on the Integra how you have that portion comes from the rear pillar into that gas door. And then when we come to the tail end of the business, you're also going to be able to get some dealer installed options. So we talked about the blacked out badges. You'll also be able to get copper wheels with the black lug nuts. So no chrome lug nuts. This is your standard gloss black sportback spoiler. You'll be able to get a dealer installed Acura accessory carbon fiber one that actually comes up higher. And then just like up front, you're gonna get that same great LED lighting. And then working our way down, massive rear diffuser area, working our way over. A lot of gloss black, but also the Civic Type R has a lot of gloss black. But the big news is this right here. This is your unique Massive opening exhaust, triple tip. This is different than the Type R. I actually looked inside and stuck a Twinkie in there and it actually is a different size interior and there's a different exhaust flap. 
because remember the big talking news is that this exhaust makes pops and bangs just like Rice Krispies. So interesting that they did that on the Type S. And then of course we have the Integra name stamped there to have that connection to the past. But you know what? This outside is sexy. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and talk performance of this Integra Type S. All right guys, we got the hood popped. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And we know Jonathan Rivers and he has access special for us here at the Long Beach Grand Prix. Underneath the hood, there are gonna be some things that look familiar, but there's definitely some things that look different. Love the engine cover. So different from the Civic Type R, of course, with the Acura badge, this red is taken specifically from the NSX Type S. The only difference is, is that on the NSX, it's a gloss red. This is more of a satin flat red. But underneath the hood, you'll see all that turbocharged goodness. But what are we looking at? You're looking at a two liter, inline four turbocharged engine now putting out 320 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to one transmission and one transmission only. That's a six-speed manual. Of course, we have a limited slip diff, that high-flow exhaust, and then we have the ADS, the adaptive damper system. The car weighs 3,219 pounds. And remember, those brake rotors are 13.8 inches. Now, we're gonna be doing the media drive in a few short months to really see five extra horsepower. Are you gonna feel a difference? But what has Acura done to the tuning of this Type S compared to the Type R to give a very unique driving experience? But why don't we go ahead, once the cars stop on track, we're gonna fire this up and hear some of the sound. guys come on in we're inside the all new Acura Integra Type S of course we're bringing it to you here first and this is remember a very early pre-production something to think about but also another thing to think about is comparing this to the Honda Civic Type R now official pricing isn't available yet but my guesstimation is going to be MSRP for this car is going to be right around $48,000. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe $49,000. I don't think starting price above fifty. dollars Now, of course, we could talk about dealer markup, but we're not going to. There are dealers out there that will not mark up vehicles. You just got to do the legwork. But comparing this to the Civic Type R, how much different is it on the interior, because we showed you the exterior, how much different is it on the inside and is it better than the Type R? To the door panels. I love the clean style. Just like the Type R, you're gonna get great clean style, but on the Acura Integra Type S, you're getting that nice silver trim on the door handle and also the silver aluminum trim with that ELS Studio 3D sound system. You get it in the Type S standard. I also like the way there's no gloss black around the switch gear. You have a nice leather material backing in the middle and on the armrest with the red stitching. And the door pocket is a pretty good size, just like the Type R to where easily you could get two In-N-Out burgers and a bottle of Sunkiss soda to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, just like how the standard Integra is different from the Civic, so is the Type S. Love the way they just kept the metal finish to the AC vents. Everything else has this nice anti-glare, anti-fingerprints texture, soft touch, soft touch all the way around on the passenger side. And then you are gonna get that nine inch infotainment system, full touchscreen capability. You do have your different drive modes, which would be of course sport, sport plus, individual and comfort. The one thing you don't have is a data log R system like on the Civic Type R. This is more for tr street duty rather than track duty per se. Working your way down, you're still getting dual climate control, which is a nice touch. We do have three stages of heated seats, which you don't get in a Type R. You do get in the Type S. Same great connectivity, USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt and wireless charging. And then guess what? This is where the magic happens. This is your standard 
accurate Integra Type S shift knob. Aluminum, I love the way they did the anodized red with your shift pattern. The leather and the stitch work, you have an Alcantara microfiber suede material shift boot with the red stitching, a metal. This is actually metal aluminum trim with the Type S badge. On the left-hand side, you do have your dynamic mode selector switch and individual mode. And if you're wondering what's this blank button for, this is for the automatic start-stop on a standard Integra. You don't have to worry about that or do you get it on the Type S, but look at the shifts. Nice, crisp engagement, just like on the Civic Type R. I can't wait to road through the six-speed manual. I know a lot of people are disappointed that there's no automatic available, but this is how you get it done if you really want to be one with the car. Some gloss black I'm not really in love with, but it's not too overbearing. You have two massive cup holders, especially one for a super slurpy. That nice leather material with the stitch work, open it up. You could easily put, I would say, four to eight, depending on how many you want to cram in there, California Raisin figurines. If you were a kid back in the 80s, you would get those in the cereal boxes. Today, they're worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, maybe. Seats, don't be fooled. They may look like standard Integra A-Spec seats. They're not. You have your leather with the Type S. The whole bolstering, all of the cushion underneath the leather has been reworked. Love the way you have the leather with the microfiber suede material and the red. Can you see the red show, showing through the back? You have three different color choices, black, red, and orchid. I'm digging the black, or I personally would go with the red. Even the bottom bolster is really nice. Now, manual seats for the passenger, I still get full electric assist as the driver. And another thing to point out is they reworked the speakers in the headliner specifically for the Type S. So why don't you get your butt over here? I got a steering wheel, not with my name on it, not even with Jonathan Rivers' name on it, with the Type S name on it. Come on over, I wanna show you. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. This is where you wanna be sitting. I wish I was sitting in this car out on the track, but what do we got going on? On the bottom portion, you're gonna get these beautiful aluminum sill plates with the Type S badge. You can get a dealer accessory black with illumination, which would give it a nice extra touch. Pedal box is great. You have an aluminum clutch, brake pedal, and throttle. Perfect for heel toe downshifting, or you could use the automatic rev match downshift feature. The one zonk is no aluminum on that dead pedal, just like on the Type R. But one thing you're not gonna get on a Type R are the multi-adjustable seats with the lower lumbar. You can see that the bolstering, it's increased, but it's not too aggressive. So don't think that this is something that's gonna squeeze you too tight when you're doing your normal driving. But I'm six feet tall and I feel fantastic. One of the reasons why is because my hands get the rub all over this. Acura does a great wheel. This is your standard wheel, special for the Integra Type S. I love the two different pieces of leather that they use, the red stitching. You can get a dealer installed option microfiber suede steering wheel, Al Alcantara steering wheel. You got the Type S badge, some silver, a little bit of gloss black, of course, manual tilting and telescoping. And then you're gonna get the same great 10.25 inch digital display. I'm not gonna show you too many functions, but you can scroll uh, through a cornucopia of information on the passenger side of the dash, especially when it comes to boost gauge, G meter, and you have the head up display, which you also don't get in the Type R, but one thing I am missing are those digital LED lights. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how this Integra Type S stacks up. All right guys, back seat time. What's great about the Integra Type S is you get to share the experience with people that you love or people that you wanna scare the hell out of on your favorite twisty road. Now, different from the Type R is you're gonna get the same great material all the way throughout. So that nice leather style material with the stitching, there is no pocket behind the driver. Let me know if that's a zonk to you. I think the bigger zonk is here. No rear AC vents and no connectivity, no USB, nothing. So that to me is a little bit of a zonk. I do have a nice size pocket back here. This is where you're gonna to wanna to keep some barf bags for your passengers because you'll be surprised. Even though this is front wheel drive, 
with that limited slip diff and the 265 width tires, this thing gets the grip and will throw your passengers around very nicely. And you don't want them to puke on this beautiful interior. But I'm six feet tall, plenty of room. One thing you're gonna notice, just like the Type R, this is not a five passenger. They actually give you cup holders, you have the leather, but this is a four passenger sport bag performance car with the leather all the way through. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm very curious. I think the big, biggest complaints you guys are gonna have is this, and then of course, the sunroof. But while we go ahead, let's get into the cargo area and see how usable this is compared to other performance vehicles. All right, guys, I'm dying to check out what's on track right now because the IMSA WeatherTech series are out there. But you know what? We gotta, the show must go on here. We gotta get to the cargo area. And this is one of the best things that, if this is gonna be your one and only vehicle to do everything, do the autocross, do your track day, but also do your daily commuting, check it out. Just like on the standard Integra, nice lift back, sport back design, you're gonna have more room back here than some small SUVs. And you'll notice we have the full 16 speaker ELS Studio 3D sound system with the speakers that have been tweaked for this vehicle. And on the driver's side, of course, Acura is, is concerned about your hunger. They have the official Twinkie cargo net. So when you're turning, Going through the fast twisty bits or at your favorite racetrack, you got your track Twinkies with you. But what a wonderful way to show this car, which is about performance with the race cars on track. I know you want to go on throttle. I want to take this on the Long Beach Grand Prix circuit and go on throttle, but those days will be coming very, very soon. But we got to wrap it up here from California. Let's get to it. All right, guys, first of all, of course, I don't want to apologize for it, but I hope the noise with the race cars added to the review and really made it special because it definitely is a special experience, not only to be here at the iconic, legendary Long Beach Grand Prix, but of course, also be here with Acura. We got to thank Jonathan Rivers, Andrew, and everybody else on the team for giving us access to this Apex Blue. Absolutely the chef's kiss of compact performance cars. Love the color. But let me know down in that comment section. Are you genuinely happy about the Integra Type S? Are you still thinking you might want to go Civic Type R? Let me know how you feel about it because I'm telling you, they're going to be in the comment section reading what you have to say. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. We got to give it up to LG Rady. Lori working that camera like a champ. She did a couple hot laps herself right before the track opened up just to get some experience filming this performance car special for you. So thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.